guys hi welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm lola thank you for visiting my channel today i'm gonna take you along to update some stuff with paint of course and yeah so let's see what we have and let's do something today guys project today I will update the bread box I got this from my friend Jules Merci beaucoup Jules and this is still nice look good but I'm gonna update the color uh, I think I would choose like a French provincial farmhouse style uh, I will change the color maybe sage green maybe I'm still thinking about it and will look sweet and new okay guys it's time to clean the piece before we start painting because you want the piece to be clean uh, from all the dirt and grimes so the paint will adhere better to the piece So now the next step is to sand the piece a little bit because I'm gonna use a chalk paint. I don't really need to sand it but I just feel like I'm gonna rough up the surface. I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper. After I sand the piece, of course I need to clean it again guys. I'm using chalk paint, leftover chalk paint from my previous project. It's by Country Shake and the color is Sage Advice. So guys, when I work on a project, I always try to paint from bottoms up. And yes, I paint the bottom and I paint the back. <laughs> it's just me or you're the same. Let me know in the comment, okay? I need to switch brush from time to time from the big one to the small one because I need to reach all the nooks and crannies. Oh yeah, for this piece, I use uh, two coats of paint.
so guys the paint is dried now I'm gonna give a white accent I'm using chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and the color is linen white Okay guys, for the next step, I just gonna give this piece a little something something. So I put a stencil and I'm using the paint from Deco Art I bought in Dollarama. I bought this stencil from AliExpress and I use a foam brush for stenciling and I just dab it gently. So this is the result after I stencil it. Okay, now we are done. I'm gonna seal my paint with Min Wax Paste Finishing Wax. Okay guys, it's project number two now. I got this wooden shelf. It's $3 from community thrift store near my house. Get one drawer. I don't really like the color and the decoupage design on this item. So yes, I will change the color uh, and I will put a stencil on it. Uh, and after that, once it's done, I will make this as a spice rack. Of course, we will start the project with cleaning the piece. So here I am using multi-tool with center attachment and I'm using 100 grit. Now I'm done with sanding, it's time to clean again and after that painting. Now I'm gonna use a black paint from Glidden. Uh, I'm gonna use the black paint and then white paint after. So once I'm done and I distress the white paint, the black paint will pop.
Okay guys, when it's time to paint it white, I forget to press record button, so that's why you see I'm this far already. So I'm using a chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and the color is linen white. I'm using two coats of white paint for this. So this is after two coats of white paint, I'm gonna distress it to make the black paint color pop. So now I'm gonna give a stencil on top of this piece. I got this stencil from Hobby Lobby. I'm using black acrylic paint from Deco Art I bought in Dollarama. Okay, we're done with stenciling. Now it's time to work on uh, the drawer. I'm gonna put the liner for the inside using a scrapbook paper. So I'm measuring uh, the size of uh, the inside the drawer. And once it's done, I'm gonna cut the paper and decoupage it uh, as a liner. So I cut to size uh, the scrapbook paper already and I will put a Mod Podge inside the drawer and after that put the paper on it. I'm being generous with my Mod Podge because uh, this paper is quite thick and I really want it to stick uh, as a liner. Now it's all done, I'm gonna attach the drawer pull using my glue gun. Now I'm gonna seal my paint using min wax. Okay guys, for our third project today, I have this tool. Uh, my husband made this, but uh, it's still rough. I just want to update the color and make it look softer a little bit and make it as a riser for my plants. Let's see. Okay guys, you know what I'm gonna say. Clean it first. So guys, for this third project, I'm gonna use uh, chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and the color is linen white. I'm gonna do a whitewash technique, so I dip my brush uh, 
with a paint and after that I dip my brush with water and then just wash it so you still can see the wood color underneath the paint Okay guys, that's the end of our project today. What do you think? Do you like it? I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope I inspire you to update some stuff around your home. Uh, and if you do uh, like and enjoy my video, kindly subscribe to my channel and put your thumbs up and leave your comment. Thank you so much and then see you in my next project guys. Ta-da!